Hello, Nair Do Wells. Um, I was gonna feature my books on vampires, which are all down there, but since witchcraft is on the top shelf, I will go with that. And no, this woman is not a witch. She was a cat, cat woman who lived in Dearborn. I can't remember her name, but now that I've mentioned her, what's her name? I don't know. I don't have it written on there. I have it written somewhere. Anyway. I'll give a precursor on witchcraft. Just because my main interest is in this woman. Who was a Garden City, Michigan witch. She grew up in Tawas. Name was Marion Kuklo. And she went by the name of Gundela the Witch. That's her. I heard about her about 10 or 11 years ago on Coast to Coast AM. And I began researching her. And that's my main impetus for witchcraft. Interest in it. Although I wouldn't say I really study witchcraft. My oldest book on witchcraft that I've owned is A Treasury of Witchcraft, which I bought about 20 years ago. And as I've said, I don't practice witchcraft. I don't believe in witchcraft other than it's a thing. I don't follow it. Don't care about it. But this is a good book. I like it. Here this is. I remember buying this at the, I believe, the Livonia Library book sale years ago. MCMLX, I don't know what that fucking is, 1961. Alright, let's do it. Put him back. Spellbound from ancient gods to modern Merlins, a time tour of myth and magic. Reader's Digest. Blah blah. So you know if it's Reader's Digest, it's a hunk of shit, but interesting, anyways. The Hammer of Witches. Most of these uh, Reader's Digest sort of deals usually just have good illustrations. But if I can pick them up for 50 cents or a dollar, I will always do it over the fiat dollar. White magic. Titian, Titiana's book of favorite spells. Let's read one of these fuckers. Divine intervention. Cast adrift. I want a real short one. Titties. What's her name? Titiana. Titiana. Titania. Come on, Miss Titty, give me some fucking candle of truth to know if somebody is deceiving you. Sometimes you may feel you can put the past behind you only if you know the absolute truth about what has happened to cause the rift. Then you can forgive and heal, or you can just grow a sack and just say, fuck it, they hate me. And you can't really blame them. Starhawk, the spiral dance, a rebirth of the ancient religion of the great goddess. I mean, honestly, with these spells, the odds are no one really likes you except your mother. And usually that's a 50-50 proposition too. But let's be honest. Most people are just going to use you as convenience. Not everybody, but most people. The Spiral Dance is a highly informative, poetic, and extremely readable overview of the growth, suppression, and modern-day Reemergence of witchcraft as a religion with special rebel relevance to the women's movement. Obviously. Jude's Herbal Home Remedies. Natural Health, Beauty, and Home Care Secrets. I'm not sure this is really witchcraft, but... Choose is more than just another book on the virtues of herbal. Yeah, this is more or less the herbs and 
witchcraft you'd use in witchcraft spells. So technically it's not a witchcraft book, but great camera work here. Poems of magic and spells. This is obviously a former library book. And it's for, geared towards children so they can become... Is that noise out there? Probably the witch is on the roof. Dame, dame, the witch, the watch is set. Quickly come, we we all are met. From the lakes and from the fens, from the rocks and from the dens, from the woods and from the caves, from the churchyards, from the graves, from the dungeons, from the tree that they die on, here are we. Come she not yet, strike another heat. I'm not reading much more of this. Oh no, this book's sticking. Get this bullshit off here. Oh, this one's sticking to it. Great fucking job. Oh, I see why it's got a big old sticker on there. More than 50 accounts of witchcraft based on actual documentation and oral narratives of revelations, rituals, superstitions, th trials, and tortures from the 14th century to the present. Tales of Witchery, Fireburn. Is that the name, Fireburn? Yeah, it's Fireburn. Holy shit, look at Odd Molly. Uh, you creepy bitch. More creepy scenes. Magic Power of Witchcraft by Gavin Frost and Yvonne Frost. Witchcraft. Oh, witchcraft. Every time you hear the word, it brings with it the feeling of deep occult secrets, secrets that you would like to have the knowledge of so that your life can be better. Do you really think of that that way? I don't buy into that bullshit. The Witches. I know I have a paperback copy of this one, too. I should be utilizing my little table here. The Witches, I think this is more about the witchcraft trials. The Witches is the fullest and finest story ever told about Salem in 1692, and no one else could tell it with the otherworldly flair of Stacy Schiff. Right. Well, this one's not really about witches. It's more like bewitchings in art. The evidence of art is that nothing in the world has held men's passions and longings in such thrall as women. Neither money nor gods, nor goods, nor gods, nor friendship, nor conquest, nor kingdoms. But what passions, what longings, hate there is, certainly. All those rapes. Wow, that's casually thrown out there. All those rapes, tortures, and brutal martyrdoms, as well as more covert manifestations of man's hatred, the temptresses and whores. This sounds like some, one of my screeds. The witches and hags, the sanitized virgins, and penitent sinners, images that are chimeras of men's buried terrors of what women might do if allowed to be themselves unchecked. But balancing these hate images, art offers us the most wonderful variety of images of love, from sexual passion to camera. Shut up. I can't read that. I like that picture. That's an Edvard Munch. Madonna, I believe it is. Phyllis Carat, Wiccan High Priestess, Witchcrafting, a spiritual, spiritual guide to making magic. Witchcrafting is a clever down-to-earth guide to making magic and reality in the 9 to 5 world. See, that's really more corny than just saying, I'm God. Anyway, this book is an actual, this one's actually got some value to it. Probably the only one in this whole collection. Although I don't know what this old one is over here. 
I haven't seen it in a while. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's just Witch Hazel, some fucking Victorian schlock novel. This book I went to an estate sale and waited in line for because I thought they were going to be reasonably priced, and I think I paid 40, 30, 40 bucks for it, which was probably too much. This says 55. Maybe I went on half day off sale. Anyway, the other ones were exorbitantly priced. This woman, Alice Bailey, is more or less credited with the, the concept of the ancient religion of witchcraft, which apparently there never was. Certain scholars, one of uh, Gundela's friends, well, Marion Kuklo is her real name, her friend... Uh, Marcelo Truzzi and his cohorts on their magazine, The Zetetic, they uh, researched the ancient craft of witchcraft or the ancient religion, and they found that there really wasn't. Obviously, there was practitioners of witchcraft, but there was really no uh, religion of witchcraft. It's more or less a made-up thing. And this lady was one of the people most responsible for it. Apparently she's been discredited, but I don't care. I bought the book just because it's a classic book. And it's got a slipcase. This is fucking painful to watch. Get in there, you son of a bitch. As I'm destroying a book. Let's get this great camera work back up here. I like how I use this fucking light, but that didn't really add shit to the utility of seeing. Let's see if that does anything better. Not really. How about if I point it at the ceiling? No, I don't do shit either. All right, let's move along. The Witch's Magical Handbook, Gavin Frost and Avon Frost. Wait, didn't we already have a book by them? Or, yeah, what book was it? Yeah, there it is. The Magic Power of Witchcraft. All right, so this is a repeat author. The founders of the Church of School of Wicca. Well, that would explain it. The first of its kind in American culture have written detailed and exceedingly comprehensive book that is unique in the study of modern-day witchcraft. Combining an extensive collection of witchcraft theory and modern-day practices, the Frost lead the reader on a path that teaches lessons in solving 21st-century demands and stresses. See, that part of it's just, I don't like it. Just say you're a spooky little bitch. And I guess there's dudes, too, or, or witches, but, I mean, come on. And they're not technically warlocks because warlocks are... More or less, not witches. Basically, to be a witch, you have to believe in reincarnation, be in a coven. What's the other tenets? Believe in, you got to study the old religion, which there is no old religion, but what there is of the old religion, you have to be a scholar. So, yeah, I don't like this new age bullshit where I use witchcraft to become a successful businesswoman. No, you didn't. The Witch Hunt in Early Modern Europe, Brian P. Levac, 3rd edition. Fearlessly, Brian, Brian Levick, what's his name again? Levac, I thought it said Levick. Does that say Levick? Yeah, it's Levac, like Slovak. Tackles a vast, complex subject and reduces it to a Concise, and this is the worst, not only the worst font, but the worst color. I can barely see it. Concise and lucid synthesis with consummate skills, challenging old assumptions, and casting light into the darkest corners. The essential starting point for the study of early modern witch beliefs and witchcraft trends, trials. 
That's great, Brian. You've done a great service to humanity. Wicca, a guide for the solitary pr practitioner. Scott Cunningham get, has given a glorious gift to solitaires and to existing covens. There is so much here. I don't know what to use first. I don't either. This is a book is that is destined to have notable social impact. Yeah, you're assuming that all these little goth chicks are reading these books. All they want is spells. A Witch's Guide to, to Ritual, Spellcraft, and Shadow Work. Embracing the Moon. Looks like she's holding the moon. You're searching for a spiritual path that is deeply meaningful. You hunger for a closer connection with the earth, the seasons, and the sifting and sifting the shifting energies of the moon. You long to weave beneficial magic into the very fabric of your life. No, they just want a bunch of shit, and they don't want to work for it the normal way. So they put on a bunch of fucking eyeshadow and black clothes, and act spooky as hell. That's why I was born. The alien witch hybrid. Even though Gandela says naturally born witches aren't possible. They also say natural born killers aren't possible. Let's move on. Hi, Judge. How are you? This has nothing to do with witchcraft, but you'll like this. I found this in an estate sale. This guy was running for judge, and guess what? Hey, I made a Confederate States bill. That's a real great fucking northern tactic to win judgeship, buddy. But I guess that was probably the 60s, right? I don't know. Green witchcraft, folk magic, fairy lore, and herb craft. See, the fairy stuff, really. I can't get into this fairy shit. So... Gundela was a green witch, and she would often dye herself with food color, and sometimes her cat and dog, too. So I suppose this is what her green witchcraft was similar to. Learn the basics of witchcraft from a third-generation witch raised in a family tradition. Positive, practical, and easy to use, green witchcraft brings together the best of both modern Wicca and the author's family heritage of herb craft and folk magic. See, folk magic is probably more, more uh, reasonable than this Wicca bullshit. Wicca basically just says you do whatever you want, and you're a witch, and you can be a witch five seconds of the, of the day. All right. The Wiccan Mysteries, Ancient and Origins... Ancient Origins and Teachings by Robin Raven Grimassi. Grimassi. Daring, informative, fascinating. The Wicked Mystery clearly and honestly reveals the initiate level teachings of the old religion. Modern, Most modern, eclectic, and solitary practitioners have never had access to this merit material before. The Wicked Mysteries is a groundbreaking work of modern religious scholarship that explores the origins and development of the various mystery traditions that form the spiritual foundations of contemporary Wicca. Okay. Witchcraft in the Middle Ages by Jeffrey Burton Russell. Burton. Medieval history this is considered. The study of witchcraft is of a more than fleeting interest. To understand this phenomenon is to acquire a more profound understanding of man, society, and self. Thus, Professor Russell's book is of singular importance. The only one of its kind in English. With insight, the author demonstrates how political, social, economic, religious, and intellectual developments either fostered or mil militated against the growth of witchcraft. Smells like my fucking lamp is burning here. <sighs> the Enemy Within. 2,000 years of witch hunting in the Western world. Look at those fingers pointing. You guilty motherfucker. Fans praise for the Enemy Within. No scholar has done more to illuminate the terrifying psychology of witchcraft. 
in Western culture than John Demos. The enemy within is a masterful synthesis. What the fuck was that? Witches are coming to get me. Must be the trains. Oh, wait, they're going to compare this shit to the campaigns of Sen Senator Joseph McCarthy? From Europe through Salem. Wait, they're going to literally lump in McCarthyism? I mean, McCarthy was right. These bastards are all communists. Don't take a fucking seer to see that. The devil in the shape of a woman. Witchcraft in colonial New England. Whoa. Confessing the familiarity with the devils. Mary Johnson, a servant, was executed by Connecticut officials in 1648. Wealthy Boston widow Anne Hibbins was hanged in 1656 for casting spells on her neighbors. The case of Anne Cole, who was taken with very strange fits, fueled an outbreak of witchcraft accusations in Hartford a generation before the no notorious events at Salem. More than 300 years later, I guess you all know the, the basics of the witchcraft trials. The Salem Witchcraft Trials of Legal History by Peter Charles Hoffer. In the late 17th century New England, the eternal battle between God and Satan moved into the courtroom. Peter Charles Hoffer, research professor of history, tells the real story of how religious beliefs... It's not witches, that's just the trains rattling from the junction... Let's get on. I got all night here. Natural magic inside the well-stocked witch's cupboard. Welcome to the sacred world of witchcraft, where Earth's natural materials become instruments for healing, bringing forth love and wealth, divining the past, present, and future, and much more. The Complete Guide to Wiccan Practices and Principles provides in-depth, fascinating information about the types of tools and elements used by modern witches. The Encyclopedia of Magical Ingredients, a Wiccan guide to spellcasting by Lexa Rosian. The Ultimate Guide to Ingredients Used in Spellcraft and from Spellbinding, USA Today, Wiccan High Priestess Lexa Rose, Rosian, a modern witch with old magic for the new millennium. This next one I'll just skip because it's Baba Yaga, a novel of witches in Paris. And Baba Yaga was a name that I used for witches. I can't remember why, but I came across that recently. What's this? Understanding Your Teenager. Yeah, I'm going to say that's the wrong show for this one. Witchcraft and Folklore of Dartmoor. Nice castle. See what I have to deal with? My pumpkin seeds, too. The northeast corner of Scotland is particularly rich in legends and folk tales. Down the centuries, these have been told and retold, but with the changing pattern of life, up-and-coming generations have little opportunity of hearing these tales which are an essential part of the folk tradition of Scotland. There's Witch Hazel. Great cover. You should actually read this book. House Magic, The Good Witch's Guide to Bringing Grace to Your Space. A total farce. Change your environment and you can transform. See, uh, Say you're a spooky bitch, please. Simple Wicca, a simple wisdom book. What is Wicca? A 
positive earth-based spiritual practice. Wicca has nothing to do with black magic and everything to do with ancient wisdom. Herbal healing. Get the fuck out of me. My life, please. I hear that shit. I want Feruza Bulk coming down the hallway looking dark and tormented. Tales of magic and spells. I don't know what this bullshit is. What is this? Is that a werewolf? Those look like a werewolf, don't it? Beauty and the Beast. Contents Beauty and the Beast. The Fisherman and his wife, the Wild Swans. I guess that really isn't. I don't know. Magic and spells. It's magic and spells, isn't it? Witches, midwives, and nurses. A history of women healers. This guy came from the Jacksonville bookstore. The feminist press. All right. Now we'll move on to the kids' books. The Mystery of the Witch's Bride. Original title, The Witch's Bridge. Oh, wait, it is The Mystery of the Witch's Bridge by Barbie Oliver Carlton. Evil haunts the witch's bridge, the foggy marshes, the old pride house. Now young Dan Pride has come to live there. Can he escape the terror that hangs over witch's bridge? That night, Dan sees a weird light flickering out on the marsh. Dan! The light spells out in code. Dan Pry. <laughs> All right. Good job, Dan. I don't remember what thrift store I picked this up. The Little Witch's Black Magic Cookbook. <laughs> nice little book for kids. There's the Little Witches. Make it a feast. Knife, large plate, fork, small plate. What is this bullshit? Tray, toothpicks, frosted funnies. Yeah, well, there you go. Put that under there. This is great camera work. This one probably shouldn't be in there because this is fortune telling by Sybil Leek, who was a witch. So, I mean, technically... Witches tell fortunes, I suppose, but it's not technically a book about witchcraft itself, but by a witch. Green witchcraft. A practical guide to discovering the magic of plants, herbs, crystals, and beyond. Paige Vanderbeck. Green witchcraft is a school of witchcraft for those who want to live in harmony with the earth and its many natural wonders. And this book is your how-to guide. Open yourself up to everything from growing herbs and plants for magic and medicine to honoring the spirits of trees and animals and using crystals for power and healing. Okay. Tales of Witchcraft by Stephen King, Robert Block, M.R. James, Saki, E.F. Benson, and others. That sounds really exciting. I think this book's actually worth some money. A lot of these little compilation uh, horror and terror books from like the 70s and 80s and 90s seem to be worth some good money. Harry Potter, Wicca, Witchcraft, and the Bible. Hour of the Witch. This one looks interesting to me. Gazing down to Earth's last days with heavenly vision, the Bible's last book predicts, through sorcery all nations were deceived, revelation, blah, blah. Why are they combining Harry with Wicca? I guess he is kind of a witch, isn't he? The Resident Witch by Marion T. Place. Bats, cats, and flying brooms. Witchy, Witchina, a young witch, lives in a barn with her senior witch aunt. And hundreds of cats. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, shit. Sound like a fucking smoker, don't I? Just my, my cough is finally gone. Night after night, Witchina flies around on her broomstick doing mischievous things, but she is lonely and wishes she had an earthling friend her own age. Wait, so she is a witch and an alien hybrid. She had an earthling friend 
her own age to play with. The problem is that if Earthlings discover Wichina is a real witch, she will be turned into an ugly toad. This is the book for all witch alien hybrids, I guess. The Resident Witch. Suffer to witch. Suffer a witch to die. It's like Teen Inks book. Imprisoned in another's body, captured by a coven of witches, bound to a man she's never met. Jean, Jean Graham cannot suspect the magnitude of the awesome power behind the bizarre and malignant plot to steal her sanity, her life, her very soul, a haunting journey to the crossroads of fear. Sounds like a way to make fucking three dollars off some bored kids. The Witch's Daughter by Nina Bodden. The witch's daughter has always known she was different. Her name was Perdita, and she lived on a remote Scottish island. She never mixed with the other children. Look at that. Looks like claws. They were afraid of her, but Perdita's world changed when visitors came to the island. For the first time, she made friends. There was Janie, a fiercely independent blind girl, and her brother Tim, who liked hunting for rocks and exploring for caves. Soon, all three were drawn in to a dangerous and daring adventure as they discovered they were close on the trails of ruthless jewel thieves. What's that to do with witches? The story of a happy witch. You too can learn the positive powers of modern witchery. and You don't have to sell your soul to Satan. Debbie, I love you. Do you think all witches are snaggletooth old hags? Take another look around you. And wake up to the real world. The beautiful blonde in the apartment next door. The sweet little brunette who sits at the night desk. The with it. The with it gal swinging along the street. Any one of them could be a witch. <laughs> For witchery today has nothing at all to do with old fashioned mumbo jumbo and evil spells. Just ask Debbie Sherwood. That's Debbie. Debbie's kind of hot too. Just ask Debbie Sherwood. You two can win the guy you most want. Talk the boss into that overdue raise. Go all the places and do all the things you've been dreaming about. The power is already within you. You too can be a witch. Uh, gives me hope. The witches of worm. Cats. Why is all these books about? Why are all these books? Nah, fuck this book. Oh, look at this. Son of a bitch. This goes with that Gundela story. The Witch's Christmas. Look at that. She has a tree on her head. I wonder if Gundela stole the story from this. I'll have to read it and find out. Tinker's Tim and the Witches. This is weekly reader children's book. I don't think I have much time left on this camera. Five minutes. I only have like seven books. Anyway, I don't think this is about witches, but it's more a catchy name. The Witch Family by Eleanor Estes, illustrated by Edward Artizani, Artizone. Go live on the glass hill forever and never come back. I think I only have four minutes left, so I'm just going to breeze through these. Let's find out about Halloween. Wrong subject, Bubba. The Witch's Spoon by Mary Cunningham. kids book about witches the blue nosed witch by margaret embry told with an engaging blend of fantasy and realism a welcome halloween story original and amusing the best halloween story to come along in several seasons the teeny tiny witches and the big ass pumpkin. I don't think any of these books are worth anything either. The Wednesday Witch by Ruth Chu. Oh no, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Got two more books. I think this one's not even about witches. This is about Merlins. Joel and the Great Merlin. I'll put that one out. 
And the last one. Dory and the Witch Doctor. Oh, these are good illustrations. I like them. <laughs> Always the black cat. Alright, that's the witch books, I believe. I don't think there's any more. That's it.